All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah. And salutations and blessings to you, I came out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth. Looking forward to the downfall and destruction of Babylon, also known as America today. Man, Lord willing, you, you edified or exhorted. Um, <clears throat> this is definitely an impromptu. <laughs> I was just sitting here, man, and, and this, this, I just thought of the word cosmos, you know, I was thought of the word cosmos, and I didn't know exactly what cosmos was, you know, I just started thinking about this crazy, I just started, I knew it was something to deal with the universe, but I just started thinking about the universe, started thinking about, you know, the stars, started thinking about constellations, started to think about comets, you know, things that deal with outer space, you know. And, of course, the spirit came to me and gave me those thoughts as well as to look up the definition. So <clears throat> when I looked up the definition, it said the universe seen as a well-ordered whole, right? And then the second definition, it says a system of thought. And now I instantly, okay, while well, I looked it up on um, Adam Online, which we'll get in a minute. But, you know, it, it, of course, John 3.16, you know, came about. All right, because this is one of the most confused uh, scriptures of the Bible, man. You know, people try to use this as the most high is talking about every single nation upon the earth. We must not forget the Lord deals with one nation. One nation is the apple of his eye. He set up one people to be in the Holy Land. He constantly, constantly has mercy and is gracious towards one nation he constantly delivers one nation upon the face of the earth. Okay. So, um, let me get into this. You know, like I said before, Lord will let you edify. So this is John three sixteen. It says for the most high, so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an, uh, have everlasting life. For the Most High sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. All right. So. People use that as the whole everybody can everybody can make it. Basically, everybody can receive salvation. No, 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 <laughs> no, not at all. When you look up that word world, it says an app. In harmonious arrangement or constitution, in order, a government, right? Ornament, decoration, adornment, i.e. the arrangement of the stars, the heavenly host, as the ornament of the heavens, right? So, as beautiful as outer space is, the stars, the different planets that they find, the 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 galaxies and, and and just even the picture. I'm if I go to my my screen. Let me see. I don't know if it'll still record if I lock it. But um, I'm not gonna go. I don't want it to cut cut the video. But on my screen, I got a picture of you know outer space. It's just something about that purple and blue. You know, it, hey, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, right? Okay, so it says an arrangement, a constitution, an order of people. Okay, I want to get this other definition right quick. It says, um, yeah, it says the universe, the world, but not popular until 1848 when it was taken as the English equivalent to Humboldt's Cosmos in translation from German 
from Latinized form of Greek cosmos, order, good order, orderly arrangement, right? A word with several main senses rooted in those notions. The verb cosmin meant generally to dispose, prepare, but especially to order and arrange troops for battle. And we're definitely in a battle, okay? You go into um, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, man, to set an army in array. All right. What what do you need with an army? Everybody has to be on the same page. All right. I believe that's Romans 16 and 17, if I'm not mistaken. You know, let me get it. <clears throat> Got to come back to the Psalms, man. That mug was hitting. <laughs> it was hitting. Matter of fact, I'll get both of them, you know, I'll get both of them. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? So I get Ephesians chapter six, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of the most high that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, right? So that that's what it is. This is the battle that we're in, okay? This is the, the fight that we're in. All right, what was the other one? Oh, Romans, Romans, Romans. <clears throat> but yeah, we're constantly fighting against his flesh and the principalities, you know, the rulers of darkness of this world, man, against E, you know? He constantly deleting our videos, constantly oppression, oppressing us, man. I was just sitting there thinking about that yesterday, you know, and that's actually how most of these thoughts came. So I just started writing them down, and I went back to the thoughts that I wrote down, and I, the cosmos came up, you know. But it's uh, Romans 16 and 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Uh, t -t -t -t. Let me see. For they are such serve, not our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, but their own bellies, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Man, I know it's here somewhere. <clears throat> I can't even remember how it was, it was quite, it's been so long since I brought it out. Let me see. It's the chapter before. Dang. Salakia Akim, but I know it's in 16. I just don't want this video to be too long. Um, you know, I'll try to put it in a um post production. Okay, 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 okay. So back in the back into the uh etym etym line of de definition, it says uh arrange troops for battle to set an army in array, also to establish a government, a regime. All right, so <clears throat> my precepts is everywhere. Forgive me. All right, it said, "This is where we at. Where we at?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Isaiah 2 and 1. It says, The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Most High to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path, for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. Okay, so that's that establishment. Okay, we're being established at this moment. Okay, we're being established by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, but it says in the top of the moment, uh, top of the mountains, right? Plural, meaning what? Those different governments, those different um, <clears throat> kingdoms, okay? The Lord is going to put Israel at the top of all of those, man. 
All right. Why? Because we're going to be joint heirs with the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. OK, let me, I got to get four. It says, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they uh, learn war anymore. Right? O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of Yahweh. All right? Because th by this is, is when peace will be upon earth, man. Because this is going to be established. Uh, like I said, we're joint heir with the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his name being Yahweh Shai. Right? And once when he <clears throat> whether you believe in reincarnation or not he ruled as solomon and what when solomon ruled there was what 40 years of peace upon earth man so that was that was a uh, um, just a prelude basically you know how it's going to be when he ruled in his glory as Yahweh after he has made his sacrifices and been made perfect and oh my gosh has been set in order man has been beautified okay and I said that for a reason because you go back to this um this definition it says to deck adorn equipped dress especially of women right thus cosmos had an important secondary sense of ornaments of a woman's dress or decoration it says dressing the hair it says in cosmetics the art of beautifying art of anointing or decorating the human body right from latinized form of the cos cosmetic uh the art of dress and ornament from uh, cosmeticos skilled in adornment or arrangement. So we're going to be redressed because at this moment as a whole, well, for at a moment, for for a moment, we was dressed in in because you got to remember the Lord look at us as, as a comely and delicate woman, a beautiful and delicate woman, but not the way that we've been living as a whole, man, you know. Not the way we've been living as a whole. We lost our heritage, right? So what? We was pretty much, why, why did he give us a bill of divorcement? Because we was going after the other nation's gods, man. Okay? We was going after the other nation's gods. All right? <clears throat> so uh, we was dressed in, in, in non-modest apparel, basically. But now we're being beautified. We're being anointed. He's decorating us. All right, through that, that blessing in the cluster of grapes, through the elect, man. Okay, call law, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Now we're being dressed in that modest apparel. Okay, now we're being beautified. Man, I seen this picture one time. It was probably like six or seven women, and they had on dresses, and their head was covered. I don't know what country they was in or where they was at, but, man, it was, it was very, it was beautiful. And this is, this is you know, with my so-called partial western mind man we're not used to that we're, we're used to seeing women have naked and having weave and, and all kind of shit going on with themselves man but that was like bro it, it was stunning man it was very stunning it was very beautiful and this is what the lord is doing to our nation right now man okay this is exactly what our lord is doing to our nation right now okay but i will make a part two to this video uh going into um psalms the 50th chapter man okay because it goes right with this word you know cosmos all right it goes right with this word cosmos man okay but with that lord willing you was edified all right i want to say call law y'all by shim y'all shy double honors for the apostles and elders once again blessing to the elect once again and blessings and salutation to you, Akim, out there during this truth across the four corners of the earth. And you women and children that follow, stay enduring. Shalom.